Yeah. So I'm going to start this thing rotating, and then I'll hand it to you. And because that thing is there, it'll be best if you can grab it so that that doesn't, isn't an issue when you flip it over. What do we want? We want it rotating counterclockwise as you look down. And then flip it. So suddenly she's rotating counterclockwise as you look down. Of course, there is some friction in the wheel, in the thing, so eventually she does slow down, but you can see what the effects of her flipping that are. Thank you. Why did that happen? Because those two, the two pieces of our physical system, the wheel plus her, are, have essentially, have negligible torque from the outside. And so when the wheel gets flipped, so suddenly it's rotating in the other direction, it takes a torque to change the angular momentum of the wheel, and so she feels a torque in the other direction, or I could just say, Angular momentum is conserved if this plus her equals the total, then her angular momentum, in the end, her plus the stool, has to be twice as big as the angular momentum of the wheel, so that the total angular momentum is still upward. Any questions about that one? The, the 70 percent of you went through it right and did the right-hand rule correctly and got the right answer. Another question. Oh, yeah. What if the change in momentum have to be the same, so her upward momentum would be the same as downward one? Um, I'm not sure. What's your question? The change in angular momentum would have to be the same, right? So it would be, yeah. So hers, I, I'll, I can fill this in. Hers is this big. Yeah, the other one's downwards, but then that wouldn't add up to zero. The so L final minus L initial. The, the the two change in angular momentum for delta L when you add them up downward, they wouldn't equal zero. If hers is twice as big. They actually would. So, so le let me, let's look at what hers is. Because I, I, do you agree that this is how big this one should be to get the? I thought they'd be the same size. These two. So, so how do you go from up to down? Uh, this is L final. And I want to add negative L initial to that. To, I want to subtract L initial. In other words, I want to add the negative of L initial. That's L final. That's the negative of L initial. And so the total is twice as big for the wheel as the initial, as the magnitude of the initial, the total change. Because you went from up to down. And so this downward change in angular momentum is twice as big as either of those. It is, in fact, exactly canceling the upward one there. You've seen things like that in terms of momentum, I think, where the, if, a, if an object bounces off of something so it changes its momentum, then the change in momentum is bigger than either of the initial, uh, initial or final momentum. That's a good point, though, because I didn't finish that for you, and I should, probably should have. So, I have a question for you. At some point, this thing is going to be rotating, and I'm going to hold it up. But for right now, I just want you to think about interactions. I'm going to, at some point, I'm going to pull up on this, and I'm going to let go with my other hand so that there's only going to be two forces, the two forces that are shown here, a force downward by the Earth 
and a force upward by the rope. And I would like you to tell me the direction of the torque using a right hand rule. So we can take the torque about this point right here. This is close to the pivot point. And in fact, if I just let go, you can see that, that there must be a torque because uh, it rotates if I just let go. In fact, according to your view of it, it's rotating clockwise when I let go, when those are the only two forces acting on it. So the, the wheel, the, the plane of the wheel, this vertical plane of the wheel is the ZY plane and the X axis goes straight through the axle of the wheel. So that's what the picture is here. Z goes straight up, Y goes to the back, and, and X is along the axle in that direction. So what's the direction of the torque by those two forces that's going to cause the angular momentum to change? 